and welcome to RedTrack. We'll do a brief platform overview today. We'll show you what tools we have in RedTrack, and we'll help you set up your first tracking campaign. So, let's start with account overview. We have dashboard here with some of the core account data like clicks and conversions by days. And we also have core sections with campaigns where we generate tracking links. Traffic sources, that's where your clicks are coming from. Affiliate networks and the offers, that's where you send your clicks. And landing pages that you might use to pre-filter traffic. You can also add custom domains. We have logs for incoming clicks, conversions, and postbacks to traffic sources. And you have multiple tools that make your life easier. You can also access help data with the Knowledge Base or RedTrack TV. Or you can access extra help from here. It messes up somehow, as it's in Russian here, but should be in your language when you click it. And all the Knowledge Base is currently in English only, and you have your account settings with your profile, subscription data, and referral program. So, in order to create your first campaign, you need to have a couple of things in place. First, traffic source, that's where you get your clicks. Second, affiliate network, that's where you send your clicks to. And offer, that specific URL you're going to send your clicks to. So, let's add traffic source, affiliate network, and some offer, and do our first campaign. You can add traffic source either from scratch or from multiple templates we have. And if you feel like we are missing a template here, ask us and we'll try to edit fast. So, as the number of integrated traffic sources is growing, you can use this one to search for something you need. Well, we found the traffic source we want to add, so we can just click Add, and you see all the data is auto-filled for you. Yes, we do have fraud score integration. So all you might need to change is some custom IDs for your account and postbacks. Please note that we have two postbacks, this one for server to server postback and this one for the pixel postbacks. For example, like you have one in Facebook. Now, we have three columns for sub IDs. This one is actually the macro or token that will be auto-filled by your traffic source. This is the placeholder, so it might look nice in your URL. And this is the description that will go into your report so it's easier to read the data. Now, we have added the traffic source and can proceed to Affiliate Network. I feel like networks work virtually the same way. You can add one from a template, or you can add one on your own. If you're adding Affiliate Network from Template, all the data will be pre-filled for you. And let's see what we have for PeerFly today. So all the data is pre-filled here. You can just change a couple of minor settings like what do you do with duplicate postbacks. Duplicate postbacks is something that happens when you receive the postback for the same click ID that already gave you conversion. So, by default, you create new conversion, but you can ignore it. You can edit existing conversion with new data, or you can keep original data and just increment the payout. This is useful when you have, like, repeated sales or deposits, etc. You can also collect additional data in subs for conversions, for additional analysis and drill downs. Now, we have added affiliate network. So let's proceed to adding some offers. It is very simple and straightforward. Just click New, give it a name, pick up Affiliate Network from Template. OK, we have not saved a PeerFly, so we have Max Bounty, for example, and you'll see the postback will be automatically filled in from Template, so you don't have to run back and forth trying to get all clicks in one place. We need to add Payout, and you need to offer URL. Just make sure that you don't forget to add click ID to the required parameter in your offer so that we can track the clicks to Affiliate Network and back through the postback URL and this data. 
So, suppose we have added a new offer and we are ready to roll with our campaign. But first let's cover landers as we will use them in our example. So, in the following page you need to just add its title and URL and all the data. All the other settings is done on landing page itself through the ways you choose to do it. And here is the link to a knowledge-based article with additional details and help videos, all the stuff you might want to have. So, we have this landing page which is very simple. It offers rotation of offers through offer URL. Let us create our first campaign. Create new campaign. We'll add this, test campaign. Let's do it. My traffic source. That's something template I use. Let us add a landing page. Let us add a couple of offers. And see we have this very simple and straightforward like names. So you can see that we are on the right offer or on the right landing page. Right now we have equal distribution between those offers. You can always change it to unequal for example. This one will get most of the traffic. and the others will get the remnants of the traffic sometimes. This setting is good for the cases when you have different caps, etc. So, when you reach a cap, your traffic will not be lost. It will just go to a different offer with way lower weight. We edit our landing page. We will change it back to a more equal distribution so you can see rotation in place. And we have campaign name, traffic source, we have CPC, although we support CPA, CPM, RevShare campaigns, and we can opt to don't track costs. We'll do this now, and we click Save. Here we go. We have our tracking URL ready. So usually this is something you paste into your traffic source and start getting clicks and conversions and money. But in our case, we'll just paste into browser window to test drive for the final how it works. So this is our landing page, and this URL will just rotate us to the three offers which we've added in the stream. So we should see red, green, and blue in actually equal distribution that will play out equal at least with 10 clicks. So let's see. We click it, blue, one more click, green, one more click. Okay, it's green again, so let's give it a shot. It's again blue, so finally, and it's again blue. Hey, we'll keep doing this until we see red one, okay? We have a red one. So, like I said, the equal distribution happens around 10 clicks or so. We'll show you the conversion, so we just go to the conversion page and we record this conversion. Now, in our campaign section for today, you can find this campaign. Sort by clicks and here you go our test campaign from the six clicks we made, only one of them was unique click. But we had six landing page views, six landing page clicks and conversion was not processed, so let's give it some time to process. Now, you wonder that your columns might look different, but it's because I made some changes to the setup. I switched off impressions because we don't do impression tracking and that's why I switched off CTR because we don't do impression tracking. So CTR is not a relevant parameter. We moved actually cost to a different place. I can do it like here right after the conversions. And I want to see the costs. So double check. So we have conversions and cost. I click apply and here we go. Now we have impressions, clicks, 
CTR, unique clicks, landing page views, landing page clicks, and conversions and cost. Now we covered a couple of things in this review how to use RedTrack, how to edit traffic source, your affiliate networks, offers, and create a campaign. A couple of useful tools you might want to leverage would be these ones. In offers, you can set up conversion cap if that is a requirement. And you can set up also unique visits cap if you don't want to show one and the same offer to one and the same person multiple times per day. It might happen when you have a lot of non-unique clicks. So just switch it to one. Choose day and click save. Now what else you can do in campaigns is apply multiple filters in the streams and you can fill the traffic by virtually all the data you can collect from country to city, to operating systems, to device models, to proxy type, which might be of special importance to guys dealing with CPI offers. If you don't want to send like anonymous or hosted proxy traffic and get conversions from them, you will not get paid, maybe even get banned. And if you're using any filters, just remember to create a backup plan with the second stream that will accept your traffic. That will filter out from the first stream. The weight in streams work similar to the weight in offers or landing pages. Make one very heavy. Make one very low or light. So all the clicks will go to the first stream unless they are filtered out. Then they'll go to the second stream. And you can still mess up with all the settings, but don't be afraid. Just go to Tools and set up the fallback URL. That's something where all your clicks would go if you have messed up with your conversions cap, filters, etc. And we don't know where to direct your traffic. Then we will go to this URL. This might be some smart link, Google link, tracking URL, or something else. It's your call. So, to sum it up. We learned how to add a traffic source, either from scratch or from the template. We learned how to do the same for affiliate networks, from scratch or from templates. We have added an offer. We have added a landing page. And we have created a campaign with the URL. And we showed you how rotation works. So, everything is very simple, straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch either through this little widget and send us a ticket, or just get all the information you need in the knowledge base or in RedTrack TV inside the app. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and we wish you great ROI.